Hi everyone, it's Mrs. McGrath. I'm here to talk to you about labeling number lines. This is a question in lesson 19 in the math chat section. Um, so it's going to walk you through this problem when you get into Zern, but I want to give you a little bit more direction because I find it to be a little bit challenging. So on this number line, we have to figure out what these fractions are going to be. So our first step is we need to figure out how many sections or parts there are between zero and one whole, or between one and two. It should be the same between each set of whole numbers. So we're gonna go, ahe go ahead and we're gonna count the parts in between. So I see one, two, three, four parts between zero and one. So those four parts tell me that we're talking about fourths. Now if I counted between one and two, I should also see four parts. One, two, three, four. And the same between two and three. One, two, three, four parts there as well. Notice I'm counting the space in between the tick marks. I'm not actually counting those little Ha those little ticks on the number line. So we're counting the space in between. So I know that we're counting by fours because in between the whole numbers there are four pieces. So the denominator in our fractions is going to be four all the way across our number line. It doesn't change. It doesn't go from fourths to thirds or halves to fourths to thirds. It stays the same throughout the entire number line. Now our next step is to figure out what our numerator is going to be. Well, I know this is zero, so this is also going to be zero. If I'm at zero, that means zero fourths. I'm gonna count the spaces again. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. So those four spaces make four fourths. And I can see that four fourths must be another name for one, or one whole. I'm gonna continue counting by fourths so I can figure out what this fraction is going to be. So here we are, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. We're gonna continue on. Nine fourths, 10 fourths, 11 fourths, 12 fourths. So 12 fourths must be another name for three, eight fourths must be another name for two, and four fourths is another name for one whole. So whenever you see a number on top of itself, it means it's one whole. So in this lesson 19, you're going to be asked to do some work that's similar to this, where you might have to label fractions on a number line. So some things to keep in mind. We need to look for how many pieces there are between zero and one. Those pieces tell us what the fractional unit is going to be. So in this case, we're talking about fourths because there was four spaces or four parts between zero and one whole. Another activity that they may have you do is to place numbers or fractions on a number line. So if I asked you to figure out where six fourths would be, well, I don't see that number here. I have to figure that out. Well, six is bigger than four and less than eight. So six fourths, six fourths falls somewhere in this area. So if this is four fourths, I can continue counting on. Four fourths, five fourths, six fourths. So in some of the activities, you might have to put a little dot here to label certain fractions.